Hey guys, I'm Rosal Vane, and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, continuation of the last episode. In the last episode, we basically killed Iridan, but we ended up confronting Ciri to the point where she uh, went into this like portal thing, and then she f ended up wounding herself trying to fight a thing called the, wa the White Frost. Um... So she went in there, fought the White Frost. I think she destroyed the White Frost, but in return, she doesn't return to this world in a weird way. Um, and so I'm ex my expectation is that she's dead, and Geralt says she's dead. Uh, we talked to Vesemir, or is it Vesemir? I think it's called, I think. But basically the guy who uh, was father to Ciri, pretty much, is what it is. I'll grab whatever I can here, I guess. It's not much, really. Just some random ass loot. But yeah, we basically came back here and we talked to the the Nifgaridan ex the the ex king of um, Nifgaridan because Nifgaridans have lost a war apparently, and so they're retreating from the kingdom. And uh, I guess the Novigrads or the Redanians are coming after them, probably. Don't know who exactly. Shades, the, the Witcher. What is the what? What? Why is the dwarf here? I don't get it. I'm not here to kill, but I'm just confused by why the dwarf is there. All right, but yeah, we're just now continuing off on a little pathway of what the heck is going on, kind of thing. Like I don't know exactly what the aftermath of the whole thing is, but what's going on? All right, out. They look like hunters, rather. How was your trip? Smooth sailing. Oh yeah, they left us behind, isn't it? That leaky tub from the Isle of Mist. You're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us. You'd not have fit anyhow. We were so laden that boat. We barely made land. And it reeked of fish manure. <laughs> fish doesn't have manure, do they? You stole my boat. You stole my boat. Borrowed. We knew it was yours, still is. You don't think we'd do that to a mate like you? Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. Literally left us behind, you asshole. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Literally, I helped so you guys. So, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the gods' names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. <laughs> what are you doing here anyways? How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors now. What? Why invest? Investors. They've come for us. Hide! Bandits. Huh? <coughs> What's son? going on? You've not seen us? I'm assuming bandits. Oh, Nivgare. Soldier. Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Witcher. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagbord's golden chalice. Oh, Dagbord. come on. Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. I don't even know which is a good moral choice, because both of one of them, they don't do well, and they've already not helped me before. They didn't help me before, so I don't think I would trust them to do this. Thank you, Witcher. Get them. It's their own fault that they were. I can't believe it. Bloody horse and Witcher. Hey, we helped you the first time, you assholes. Catch them. Freaking douchebags, dude. Like literally douchebags, because they literally like stole from us, or they stole the thing from us, and then expect me to be happy the fact that they freaking didn't deserve what they did. They deserve justice. Justice should have taken them down a while ago. Freaking bloody thieves. What the heck? What the heck's going on here? The merchant just died, didn't they? Didn't they just kill the merchant? Holy crap. Yeah, it's a freaking merchant. What the hell? Bloody merchant didn't do anything wrong and he got killed. What the fudge? Now I can't even ask for him to sell my stuff to him. Unless he's not dead, he's just 
fainted, which is funny because uh, see, I see his icon. <laughs> I see his icon though. I see the the merchant's icon, and it looks like the merchant's like still alive. It's just it's just stuck on the floor for now. All right. Well, anyways, I did my job anyways to get rid of those stupid quote unquote seven dwarves because they lost three, I think, lost three to the uh, to the mist of isles. But they don't deserve to live if that's the case. Like, they freaking stole from us as one. I helped them out, literally trying to find their men. And the way they repaid me was leave me behind without my boat. Are you kidding me? I thought that the Novigrads were going to win the war, but I guess Redanians are winning the war somehow? It's kind of weird though. It's kind of really weird because at the same time I'm seeing a bunch of like Nif Garadans, but with a bunch we'll of like. Talk. I will come back for you. I promise. Yes, if only you've done half what you promised. Ooh. I'll come back and take you to Nilfgaard. You were to stay here. Yeah, that's a big yikes from me, bud. You shouldn't have done that. And protector. The noble Lord Dagro mm. assumes his lands to rule with work for us. The black ones would have sat here stolid. Oh, Tamarians. Okay. Is it Roach? Who's this? Roach? Or Avalok? I don't know if Avalok even disappeared because he didn't say anything, really. Oh, don't tell me it's Siri. Don't tell me it is. I knew it! <laughs> is it done? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank God, you? Siri. You freaking scared me. I had no me. idea. Yeah, I had no idea myself. Yeah, I love the psychological pull on that. That was a fantastic... For the <laughs> and we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. Hey! You've been busy. Thank you for staying alive, thank you. God damn it. So I guess it broke her sword. The last sword broke because she killed the white frost with it. It's yours. A witcher's sword. With Swan. the elven yep. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Yep. Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, Witcher. Oh. Yes, this is the ending I wanted. <laughs> yes. Let's try it out then. We did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, what does it say? The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the Northern Realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir of our Emrys conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Yes! Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. Fantastic! The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Damn. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. 
the exact ending Geralt, I wanted. You might ask. Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. All right. Is that it? Or will it just send me back into the world of the game? Is based on the pros. Yep, of course. On the on the pros of uh, the I think it's the Polish author of the of the game or the Polish author of the story behind the game. All right. God damn. That was What episode is this? I forget I forget what episode this is. 1 180, 170. 170 something or 180 something 160 something i don't remember the number anymore it's probably 171 or 172 or something let me check my phone i can actually see it on my phone oh no i'm sorry for being unprofessional by looking on my phone and seeing what episode it was all right it's loading it's pretty slow because i'm basically trying my best okay it's all the way at the bottom 153 episodes. So this is 155th episode, I think. 155. Yeah. So, sorry about that slime. Um, so basically, we've spent 155 literal episodes trying to do all this, a lot of the side quests, exploration, and the main quest of this game, which is fantastically crazy. Because uh, by this point, I've spent about 100, almost, almost 100 hours in this whole game alone. Like, literally the... Uh, main game, including all the side or a lot of the side quests, not all of it. A lot of a lot of the side quests has been done. Man, hands down, this game has been pretty big. It's it's like I don't know where the game ended really. Honestly, I just played to the fact that I wanted to keep going. I wanted to keep seeing this world a bit a bit more because Witcher Three really drew in a really good pull for me to keep playing some more. Um, and that's what I really love about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is that it the narrative was strong enough to the point where it pulled me in to keep playing for more hours and stuff like that and keep playing for more episodes. Although we're, there were times where it was a little bit slow and it kind of like I had other games as well to just kind of pull me back instead of this one a lot. But I really love to come back to this because this kind of felt like a sort of like common place to just come back to play. Um, as soon as I finished the other game or something like that. Because Witcher 3 always was there to just have me come back to it and just play and, like, try to finish the story as much as possible. But yeah, the game, the game's strongest point is mostly just the story in general, I feel like. Because it taught me so much and it, or it, well, it, it, well, it, yeah, okay. It did teach me a lot about, like, how moral choices weren't, like, guided by, uh, some sort of meter or some bar it's guided by the world around you and it's really fantastic that this game does that to give me that uh belief that belief that i'm actually trusting um the world that is around me to sort of praise me or if not praise me then just hurt me for doing the wrong things or call me out for the wrong things and i'm glad that things are the way it is actually i'm, I'm kind of confused by the northern realm thing because they didn't mention about how roach uh Ro or roke Roke, Roach, the guy from the Northern Realm section of the soldiers, took over the Empire. I don't think I got that correctly, apparently, I feel like. So that probably might be a, a thing that I genuinely felt that I did wrong, that I didn't get to actually capture. But I'm glad Siri's alive. In the last episode, I was so depressed as soon as like we came back. But I, I, I called it, too. I called it. I was like, it's got to be a psychological thing that the developers want you to feel, is that they want you to feel that uh, Siri is potentially dead because you put her in that situation and scenario but we didn't do wrong we did right we did it by the right ways that we wanted it to be i guess she teleported back pretty much because i knew she had the ability to teleport back when she needs it but if she was you know dead or injured she wouldn't probably teleport back in an instant pretty much like she probably might have struggled a little bit before coming back but that's totally fine i'm totally down with that being the thing so i'm happy that Siri was alive or is alive and that she's now the Witcher because the Witcher ending was what I wanted for her. I didn't want her to have the death ending. I didn't want her to have the Empress ending, which is basically taking over for the Nifgards. Uh, if I chose the choice to turn her in, turn Siri into the Emperor right off the bat, she would have became an instant Empress right there. Um, and then if, if 
if I do that, but also try to let her do her, her thing, she'll probably make sure that she become, like, dead, like, when she goes through the White Frost, pretty much, is what I think. Um, because there's only three, uh, there's only three or four endings. I think the two I remember the most, which I didn't want really badly, was the Death one and the, the Empress one. The Witcher one is what I wanted from her, and I don't know what the, f I don't know if there's a fourth one, but I don't think so. I don't think there was a fourth one. I think it's just three endings. But I'm glad that, uh, <clears throat> Siri is alive, and I chose the right places of conversations to allow her to be a Witcher, um, because, oh god, my controller was about to fall. Oh, no, ah, oh, I didn't mean to, cl ah, damn it. I skipped it by accident. My bad. Well, let, let's see what's going to happen now. Because I know that we have the expansion packs and the DLC stuff. I'll probably re rewind the credits, hopefully, if I can. I don't know if the, the credits will be there in an instant. But it's technically the whole... Oh, is it just here? Oh, what is this? A story of Geralt Rivia has come to a close. You can continue traveling the world in search of Witcher contracts and adventure, but everything will be as it was before the game's last chapter, and quests tied to a main storyline will no longer be available. Okay, cool. You have unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. To do so, create a new game save and start a new game. Choose the new game plus mode and select the save you just created to import the character. Only saves created after unlocking the new game plus options can be used for this purpose. Alright. What is this quest that I'm seeing? Ah, yes, we have the uh, the expansion pack. So in the next episode, I will do Evil's Soft First Touches, aka Hearts of Stone expansion. So we're going to be moving into the two expansions here. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of these two quests, honestly. Um, do expect that I will be doing a bunch of the side quests as well from these two expansions because I do want to know what the hell they're up to. I'll probably go into these two contracts first before we move into those guys because these guys are available for me to do whatever with it. There's no available points. Okay. Um, let me save before we continue. I did want to also um, go back to the credits, but I don't know where the... I don't think I can access the credits through here. Let me let me go to the main menu. Is this... Is there, is there a way to access the credits? God damn it. There it is. The Witcher 3, please. Yeah, I'm gonna probably let this run a little longer because... No, I don't want to skip it. See, I dropped my control. I was about to drop my controller, and I literally pressed X by accident when I dropped it. Like, I was like... It was like this on my leg, and I was like sliding off like this, and I slammed it down onto like the side, and like I karate chopped it so it didn't drop. Instead, it kar karate chopped onto the X twice, and then it just skipped the whole credit scene, and I was like, what the fudge? Oh god, that's so unlucky of me. Alright, let me put this somewhere safer than stupid, like, leg of mines. On the table, yes. Okay, there we go, better. On the table. Better is on the table. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna... Probably end the episode here. I don't know if I should. I will end the episode after the credits maybe runs, finish running. I want to give full credit to the developers because they deserved it on the video. And they're, again, like, they're the best around for these kind of big games. And I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077, as I said earlier, um, about the, the, this, during this time of, uh, playing this game. Because I've been looking forward to playing something as good as this would be. Um, because it's narratively strong, it's, it has a lot of role playing like it has a very huge emphasis on the role playing and it doesn't give you any like leads on if you're going into the right or wrong ending like if i if i didn't know that there was multiple endings with um choice specific choices i had to choose to sort of lead on to that i would have probably just went in blindly and i i would have like a lot of ups and downs and turns and i'm just like i don't even know which one i want to decide on i really wouldn't i wouldn't really know what i decided was good or not and i still didn't know if even even when i looked through the guide i didn't commit to my memory to remember what specific options were the ones to cause me to have issues and stuff i literally did not know so i just went in blind assuming things that were correct the way I wanted it to be. And I mean, it was fine and dandy that I chose the things I chose um, to lead up to the ending that I wanted uh, out of this whole game. Because I didn't know that... Because there was no good, very, very good ending where... Um, besides the Witcher ending, which... Uh, that kind of led me to believe that much. Because there's only three endings... Two of which was really bad in some in in the, in the capacity, and one being really okay or good to the point. Like I, I don't think it's okay. I think it's really good because 
Having a female Witcher is great, to be honest, because there was no, like, sort of female Witcher in the whole of uh, the story that I've seen so far. Or nobody has mentioned anything about a female Witcher. It's just a white hair, ashen hair girl, and that's it. That's always what they were mentioning. But having an ashen hair Witchress would be really awesome. It's really awesome already. Um, sad that they don't tell you the story of how Yennefer ends her story. There's no truth to how or there's no like lead up to Trist doing her thing or Yennefer doing her thing there was no lead up to uh what was the girl Philippa Arhart she she said she was going to take over Nilfgaard but she didn't do it in the end which is weird uh, because Emir ended up receding and but that's it like I only heard it was receding and the people of the country was like really getting angry with Emir and stuff like he they were just like whatever it is um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just, I don't really know what's, what to think, but at least Gallica, uh, survived this whole fight, I guess, that's all I worried about, um, and I'm guessing Nifgarrets just went back to their lands, like, the Nifgarrets went back to their, their place, and stayed in their little kingdom, while Novigrad stayed the way they were, with the Northern Realms being their soldiers and such, so they, re that's probably what it meant when they receded from the country and stuff. For that little storyline there. Um, because I couldn't understand what was being told to me. Because I was like... Traitors? What? Receding? What? Emir? What? People against them? What? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, whatever, I guess. I, I'm guessing it's a good ending somehow. In some ways, since series is still alive. So that's the only thing I was worried about the most. I think. Um, combat was kind of a little bit okay, I think. It... Combat-wise, I felt like there wasn't a lot of variety of ways to play in combat. Like, there's sword play with with uh, bow and arrow or cross bolts, sword fighting, like heavy attack, uh, fast attack, fast and heavy attacks, and then magic. And that was it. It was not super like variety based for mechanics for fighting, which was a little bit of a, a little bit of the downside for the game, I think. Um, making it a little bit hard sometimes when I'm trying to fight certain like enemies. Witcher wasn't uh, no no Witcher. Geralt wasn't too much of an issue. Siri might be kind of an issue for me because I couldn't understand because there were points in time where I forgot how to play her and so that became an issue for me where I was just like, how do I play her with <laughs> to Siri again? How do I play a Siri again? Teach me a game, teach me again and it it didn't teach me any of it again. It just told me they just trust me to remember all of it after like two three years of playing this game i literally took my time playing this game i swear i didn't mean to like since of 2015 uh it's been four years actually then um like since of 2015 when it's first released i literally played this game had fun with it and took my time with it and then realizing that i was going back to school or going to school in another like state that i didn't have time to come back to my desktop and record more episodes for you guys that i realized i won't have a lot of time to finish this so now i have the time to finish the main game now i got the dlcs and expansion packs to deal with next it's annoying but it's great at the same time it's really well worth it i think to just finish the main game finally for once because i took too much time uh thinking about other things and doing other games playing other games instead of this game in particular to finish this one uh, for the main part, that is. For the DLC expansions, I think they're another, like, set of 100 hours together, I bet. Or maybe less, depending. Because I know that the main game takes about 300 plus hours. What, with all the completionist stuff, if you do all of it. Um, but if you do sort of, like, just the, the main mission alone, it should take about 50-ish hours or so. Like, it, it's a big chunk, I think, of the game for, like, the main quest alone, I think. Uh, yeah, it's just... I'm just glad that we got through most of it, and I'm, I'm glad that we saw the ending. We chose the right ending. Um, I probably might not rewind, considering that I thought I did the wrong choice. But at the same time, I was going to think about rewinding to see what the bad choices were for that one. But I'm not entirely certain anymore that I want to go visit that, though. I'm very worried that if I go back, it'll probably result the same ending, I feel like. Because I think there were specific things that led her to her death. Which is probably not letting her do her thing alone. Probably... I think, like, letting her fight on her own was probably another issue I think I could have caused Siri to die because I think that if I hold her, held her hand too much, she might rely on uh, Geralt for too long and then she dies for it or something. I don't know. It just, it just, it doesn't tell me too much more than that. So, yeah, I don't know. 
I really don't. Other than that, I don't have any more to say, I think, for the game, I guess. Uh, music, I didn't turn on the music at all. I turned it off because I was, like, careful for copywritten stuff because I wasn't... I, I know that which I, I, I know that CD Projekt Red is, like, okay with anything as long as we're not just, like, reselling or putting a subscription wall or something like that on top of it, uh, on top of the game or marking it as your own asset for some of your own games or something like that. But, like, uh, I just want to be on the careful side, the very, very careful side, because I don't want to, like, be, like, against their, like, their, their stuff that they want to have your game to be, or what their game wants to be, I guess. So I'm glad that they are, uh, they have music in the game, I guess. <laughs> Artwork, yo, like, literally the whole scenery is beautiful. I love the game's scenery a lot. Uh... I don't know what to say about that, but I'm thinking that it's because a lot of it is telling of the world, I think. It has a lot of mountainous areas, a lot of water, rivers, waters, open o oceans. You can dive into the oceans and stuff like that. Like the world itself, world building, level designing, art, environmental art or art in general for like props and people really, really match well with this game. And it really just told the world in a like a really beautiful way and i really enjoy the fact that they uh had all that in there and i'm really glad that they um took that direction and left with it in being like uh the way it is right now and i'm happy that i saw everything that was almost I, no i didn't see everything i saw almost everything almost everything that was needed to see in this game and i'm glad that i went through all of that just to see what the hell this is all about but uh yeah at the same time i'm glad i went through the whole thing of being super duper like gigantuous of a game and stuff like that i love how they mentioned gog in here <laughs> it's really funny because i am playing it on gog it's not steam so it's like eh amc pixel factory okay but yeah overall that the art even the 2d art as well is really interesting um but at some points, I knew that this, the the uh, cutscenes were video recorded because they want to make sure that it's not an engine or something. I feel like because uh, some of the scenes I saw was uh, they weren't wearing the outfits that the DLC I like that I applied to them were there. Like the, some of the DLCs weren't there, so I was just like, uh, "This is definitely pre-recorded. <laughs> it's noticeable." Uh, I, I don't know exactly why they did that though. I'm I'm very curious about that though. That's a that's a thing I'm very curious about. If I ever had a chance to ask them a question, that would be my the curious thought is why record those and, and instead of using the in engine cutscene stuff, is it because there's too much to it? Like it might be too taxing to the computer to like render out the special effects? Is it going to be because of the fact that um those specific cutscenes are um, gonna be tied into the way it should be or is it that they didn't have enough time to work on that particular scene because of how uh, the performance is like the way they act like the characters act would be like specific to um, the way it is in terms of like uh, like like, it, like it's much more easier to do it on a different engine versus their own in-game engine and they have to like ship it out and then put in a cutscene instead of like or a video cutscene instead of like an actual in-engine work around to make a cutscene work because I, I i would understand that if that's the case and it makes sense a little bit there man this is a long list of things even ea origins is in here interesting interesting i don't know any of these things but i'm, I'm reading a lot of foreign names and i can't pronounce them i bet soft club huh okay but it, but in, in general casing, um, would I recommend this game? Yes, I would definitely recommend this game. I don't think there's a uh, standalone game anymore. Now there's the Game of the Year edition now for The Witcher 3. So I probably may not put a link yet until I finish this game overall because the Game of the Year edition is the one that they're selling off of, I think. Um, instead of selling the standalone one game only. So once you buy the Game of the Year edition, you got all the expansion as well. So I'm playing over into the expansion. So I don't know how I'm going to rename my... I don't know how I'm going to restructure the naming convention for this now. Because we're going to be moving into the um, the expansion pass, packs. So it'll probably be like Witcher 3 um, 
heart of heart of cold heart and heart of stone i think it was why did i say heart of code was it that name i think it's heart of stone i can't remember the <laughs> i can't remember the name i know it's blood and wine for the second one that one's like the most popular one i think um in terms of the way you remember the name it's really interesting of a name um, but I don't remember Heart of Stone because I think it came out and it was like kind of soft, like a soft release almost. Like it, once it released, I wasn't really sure like, like its release was released at all. <laughs> they have babies in order of appearance. <laughs> Some of these kids were born alive on the development time. Here, here's these kids coming out of the womb. I think that's what it is. I, I might be wrong. All right. Well, that's the end of the credit, I believe. And then we're going to move into uh, ending the episode, pretty much. But yeah, that's all my thought on Witcher 3. Um, I don't have any more besides the point of... Oh, damn. I didn't know some people passed away during the game, too. <clears throat> because sometimes nobody mentioned anything much in terms of development in-game. And sometimes it happens, like, afterwards, I think. After the fact, I think. Um, but yeah, in the next episode... Anyways, um, yeah, we're done with this episode for now. Um, I wanted to keep it kind of short and simple, sort of, where I get to review what I thought my thoughts are for this game. I know I didn't do all the side quests, I didn't do all the contracts, I didn't do all the discovery of the, the game itself in this game in general. I'm kind of curious if we can talk to Siri, though. This is all before the, the last chapter, if, I, if, I, if I'm correct. So, but then again, I also don't see where the freaking there's no Yennefer here either. So that kind of sucks. No Triss, no Yennefer. Like all the main characters are gone or dead. Gone or dead for sure. And that's kind of saddening to see. Um, all right, we're gonna do these contracts first um, because I kind of picked them up and I never continued them because I was like, let's get in, let's get into the main game. Let's finish mm -hmm. this game once and for all. Is what I said. I think when I finished a bunch of contracts and such, I was like, let's go and finish this game, screw it. And so I went and finished the game, and now I'm back to doing some side quests before we move into the actual expansions, uh, because I want to get rid of, I want to shorten the list of contracts slash side quests so I can be prepared to do whatever I want to do with this game, I guess. Um, but I'm glad that we went through a lot with this game, and I'm looking forward to finishing the game even further with all the expansion packs, and all the other side stuff that I'm bumping into later on in this in the next episode. Not this episode. I, I was going to say this episode. I'm like, no, wait. This episode's ending very soon here. Is that Roach? Yep, it is. It's so lonely now. It's, it's just so saddening because I feel like this game is now, like, super lonely now at this point. This game makes me feel pretty lonely. <laughs> I like how they have the results of, like... And now it's just the results of like them blasting through it, like the wild hunt blasting through the doors. Oh man, it feels so lonely now. I, I'm serious, it feels super duper lonely now. Oh, there's more here. I didn't even know there was undiscovered areas here. I didn't even know there was an inn here. Or a hut. That, oh no, that's a hut because uh, Lambert wanted me to go to the thing. Alright, let's go back to No, Man, no Man's Land. Alright. Go there i guess all right in the next episode we'll do that contract we'll finish the other contract that's level 35 because we're exactly on point of that level i think for the contract of level 35 um and then we'll move into the first expansion which is heart of stone i think heart of stone or heart of code i forget the name i keep forgetting the name you're gonna see me mess up the name so many times i swear it because i know that i'm gonna forget the name constantly because that name is so much harder than the blood and wine dlc's name the blood and wine is easy because you don't have a lot of dlc's name blood and wine this the same thing but also a bit more generic in a way like i feel the name is a little generic not saying it's a bad thing it's just for me in my mind it reads as a generic name heart of code or heart of stone let me double check. Is it? Is it? Uh, give me a second here. Heart of Stone. Yes. Hearts of Stone. Yeah, it's a very weird name for me, so I can't remember it very easily. So hopefully I'll remember it more and more often. All right, so we're going to go through here. I'm guessing the world just rewinds back in time and just keeps everybody in the way they are. Um... 
Maybe the reason why I couldn't do this quest was because it was difficult, maybe? I don't know. Though. I do not know. But anyways, other than that, that's it for me in this episode for now. Uh, again, next episode we'll do this contract, we'll do the other contract. Um, if the two contracts take the whole next episode, whatever. Whatever the point is, is whatever. Um, I'll do those, and then I'll move into the Heart of Stone DLC. And then once we move into the Heart of Stone DLC, we'll figure out what the hell we're going to be doing there. Because I do not know anything about the DLCs. I've never seen any videos. I haven't touched the DLCs myself. I just know that I had the quests for those two all this time and never touched them. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. That's it for me in this episode. Hope to see you guys in the next part. No new minds. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We cannot win of watching this. I'm looking forward to the remainder of this game with the DLCs. And uh, again, I already said all I said with this. Uh, if there's any final thoughts that I probably missed out, I'll probably talk about them in the next episode. If not, then I'll just put them in the comment boxes in this episode. So, whatever. Other than that, Roz, out. <laughs>